Hello there! I am the Freezing Apple, and welcome to the new Let's Play! This one is gonna be an awesome game! And it's also gonna be 100% just like any other of my Let's Plays. So I finally figured out how to record the Dazzle. I'm probably. Like, the way I'm recording now is that I'm recording the video separately from my voice again. But this time I'm using a different voice recorder. So this one should go fine. Yes. It's time for Wind Waker. Press start. There's no memory card in slot A. Whoop! I see a memory card! Should have checked this before recording. Well, that's always me failing. Okay, is this. Yes! 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 It is. It is recognized as a memory card. And, um, would you like to create a save file for the Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker on memory card as Yes! Yeah, save file has been created. Awesome. Quest log one starts. The A button is to put letters in. Just like any other generic game. And of course I'm gonna name myself Apple. Just like a Minish Cap. And it's ended. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so glad that I finally have Dazzle. This, this is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found a golden power and took it for himself. With his strength and his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as his from nowhere. Welding the blade of evil's bay, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again, crept both from the depths of the earth. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left the future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legends survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, 
They aspired to fight heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage and the hero of legend. I thought it was the hero's time. There's your island! It's your island dish! Blitz, it's outside the island! It's so outside -y. Who's that? It's your little sister, I guess. Take mother! Oh god, it's a bird! Two birds! No, the birds have invaded our homeland. Big brother! Telescope! Awesomeness. Ah, uh, there we are, sleeping like a big brother. Yeah, sleeping like a big brother. We are indeed sleeping like a big brother. I like his clothes. Who's this dude? Whoa, she's gone. It's another seagull, no. Another one! The seagulls are invading our land! I knew you'd be here! <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea when I play with the gulls. I call it Ariel Errol's Lookout. I don't know how to pronounce that name. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! Whoa! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Yes! I should. Wait, let's speak with her first. Oh yeah, Big Mario, Grandma is waiting for you back at the house. And I'm sure everyone else on island wants to say hello to you too. Yes, let's indeed talk to everyone. Let's fall down! <laughs> yes, I didn't even hurt. Why? Because we're an RPG hero, that's why. I can't roll. Oh, I can. <laughs> I forgot the movement of this game. Great. Let's go inside this house here. Say hello to our... to the guy that's inside, or the woman. I don't know who the hell is inside here. Who? I said who. Go away. Crouch! Like a man! Where are we now? Ooh, a treasure chest. This is probably my favorite Zelda song. Like, little song ever. You got a red ruby! That's 20 rubies! What a pleasant surprise! Yeah, so the first time you get in this island, it's pretty full of riches and stuff. You can get... You can get pretty rich by this place. White screen. Ooh, it's a Piggy! Piggy, come back here! Piggies are like the cuckoos of uh, Wind Waker. Come here! Come here, Piggy! What you need to do to catch Piggies is crouch to them, stand up and grab them! He said, no, damn it. It didn't work. Yes. Crouch backwards. Backwards and tie. Yes, I am a Piggy! Ha <laughs> ha Die, Piggy! I'm an evil genius. Hey, there seems to be a guy here. Hey, mister. Holy apple! What's that? Today's your birthday? Well, congrats, buddy. You're that old already? Wow, time just flies by, right? Doesn't it? You blink and poof! There goes a year. Why, I swear I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look at how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting an apple? You'll be surprised at the thing, at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun. It's like treasure hunt. Except you're gonna need some kind of grass cutting too if you want to cut the grass. That's common sense, you know. Yes, it is indeed common sense. And we can also get ten more, oh, well, fifty more rupees. And oh my God, it's a little dude. Hi, hey, Apple. Hey, is it true that you just? Have a little courage and run as fast as you can. You can jump in that rock out there, huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. Yes, indeed, I can jump in this rock. It's simple for me. It really is. 
And in this way you get 50 more rupees and now you swim for your life because just like in Akami you have a well you can't swim for all time. And that's pretty well I, I wouldn't say crappy because if you could you could like s just skip the whole game not the whole game but you could skip parts of the game so yeah there's a guy here it is so wild wild pig Ooh, see look the black one there don't you see him this is perfect my wife was just telling me when she really wanted a pet you ready to go grab a devil yes i know we we already know how to catch a piggy and I'm gonna catch this piggy. Why? It's not for a side quest at all. I, I just wanna catch this piggy. Hello, piggy! I has a piggy. I has a piggy. Remember, you can fight with those oinkers. Hey, they aren't called piggies, they're oinkers. Oinkers is a much more epic name. Uh, uh, oh, an old dude. That's correct, you're not a smart one. You, my friend, have just L targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward. You know, it's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L targeting as well. Giant ingenious little thing, if I say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag, not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop it by my room. Uh, yeah, why not? It's just like an introduction video, so... Yeah. This isn't gonna be really all that much on the gameplay and all that stuff. This episode. This episode is more walking around, checking out everything. You're growing up, Apple. Which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking, it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down. And I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked to these walls here is something that I have researched thoroughly. Thoroughly. And before you ask us, I do know my filling system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. Such a racket, can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off myself since I was hooligan! <sighs> Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. He hates studying, all day, every day. The loud just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain is muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, He's been studying fencing or whatnot. As if that's an, any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Uh, teach him some manners. These are <laughs> These books are freaking huge, man! And I could. I'm inside a book. Yep! So I guess my legend was wrote down. It's a quite a small bed you actually you have actually in there. Hey. Oh, these are some papers. I'm not gonna read them though. I mean, okay, of course, I said that this was gonna be an introduction video, but I'm not gonna read any everything. For instance, I don't wanna try my voice out. And yes, as you can see, everything, every part has fallen down. Ooh. What happens if I lift the spot and throw it? Nothing. What happens if I lift the spot and throw it at him? Nothing. His big head just breaks it. Oh, yes. oh I, I always love that. Okay, right side now. Falling down. 
I'm not gonna talk with uh, his little younger brother there yet. First, I'm gonna go up here. Ooh, that's a big lady you got there. Today is your birthday, isn't that Apple? Well, how nice for you. I suppose I could congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell you the truth, I could congratulate myself too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it a delightful addition to the place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet and giving it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should uh, get. What do kids like these days? Listen, dearie, if you see any good pets around, be a lamb and just bring one here. If we do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but won't tell your grandma about it, will we? Ah, uh, I kind of forgot about that. We actually need to get the pig here again. So, where's the pig? There's the pig. It's just at this old spot again, so let's crouch to him. Come on, wait for it and... Friend the little bugger! Got the little piggy. Is that girl right there? I'm gonna talk with her later. These are pets for you. Why, did you bring me the little piglets all the way in here just for me? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boss will be so happy when I get home. You sweetie. Okay, I'll hold you out your hand. This is your reward. Holy shit, a red ruby. That is indeed a pleasant surprise. Why, this little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind if having even more of them. Yep. I'm gonna try to get another piglet. I'm gonna see if that actually gives me more rubies. I've never actually tried this in all my, my six playthroughs of this game. Yeah, I've played games like that. This game is probably my favorite Zelda game of all time, too. So, I'm gonna get another, another 20 rupees, that is. Yes. <laughs> another red rupee. That is indeed a pleasant surprise. Yep, I do indeed know what to bring them. And I think uh, there's also a piggy there. I think we can see the pig piggy actually. You swim pretty fast actually. As you can see right now. Ah, uh, that's a rock. Rocks can be deceiving. Ooh, rupee. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. Are you a rupee? With, um, I didn't like, throw the pig down. <laughs> I believe it did. I don't even know if it's still there or not. Yep. It's still there? Uh, no, it isn't. Then I must swim for my life. Okay, I'm outside, uh, outside of the water now. Uh, I could swear there was another piggy here, though. I swear there was. It's behind the house, actually. Ah, there it is. Grip the little. Ah, frick. Come here. Damn it. <laughs> I, lo I, I love the sound of those little oinkers make. Yes! I got the piggy! Let's bring it back to the woman. We're almost already 20 minutes into the video. Really, we're just about 90 minutes into the video. Yeah. And like, this is so retarded. Because I'm only doing side stuff right now. Actually, that was a side quest game. Shit. Shut up, pig. I think he's actually sunbathing. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, another one. Another red rupee. What a pleasant surprise. I guess I'd better think up some names for these little oinky winkies, huh? Yes, those are actually the only three oinkies. Oinkers. Oinkalalo. That you will find here. 
but I say it's quite the collection of piggies actually. Anything in here that's maybe important? I, I maybe there's something down here. Wow. That that looked really retarded. But yeah, talking about this game in general, I really love it. I love the art style of this of this game. I that's pretty much it's it's like really it looks really nice for a GameCube game. Let's just say that. I don't know that it's like the the uh, best game game ever, but oh, well, actually, it might be. Oh, Apple! Happy birthday! Hey, did you bring Errol? Find you? <sighs> she was supposed to tell you that your grandmother was looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jaws on her head like me so she could help your grandma with jaws. So, if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jaw and presently to carry it. Okay. Yes, I can tell her that. I can tell her that's for you. And here, we're gonna get introduced to an awesome guy that one of my friends thinks is gay. I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's awesome. I think I. Did I just say I don't think he's awesome? I think he's pretty awesome. Whoa! Oh, a customer! I'm gonna be this shop ship. I do them pretty much anything of everything. Do you have anything to do? If you do, show me to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you like to buy? Oh, just It's by the big bag. Yes, we need the big bag. It's an awesome bag. I know. Eight pouches for storing bait. Which eight times three is Thank you! I love that thank you. I just love that thank you. We got two times eight is twenty-four bait. I have one point saved up. Yes, I indeed have. Let's buy a all-purpose bait. <laughs> I just love that name, like all-purpose bait. It has purpose to all everything. Like it also has three portions, so yeah, it's really nice. Thank you! Yes, I indeed. And now it's back there. Thank buy another one. You. Must buy another one. Thank you. I'm gonna buy a lot of uh, all purpose bait Thank right now, you. like probably five Thank servings. You. Well, actually, it's not five servings. But yeah, here we have a hoi pair. You can buy this anywhere else, only here. I'm serious. Now's your chance. Bye bye bye. We actually need this hoi pair for some things. Yes, it's a bait for seagulls. And we need this for quite sorts of things. We also actually need this to complete the game, so I'm gonna buy two of them. Bye. I just love that guy. Probably one of my favorite solo characters. I just love how he's always all ecstatic and stuff. Thank you! I just love him. This guy, however, I hate him. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Apple. And so was my mom. Fucking hate this guy. I mean, just, just look at his ear. He follows you around like a little snotty child. Yeah. Wow. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty good resemblance. There's actually five rupees uh, up there that you can get by using a hoi pair, but buying a hoi pair for 10 rupees and then getting 5 rupees out of it, it's not really the greatest idea, really, so I usually don't do that. But there is a secret cave in here, just under your house, which has no music inside, I kinda like it actually, which it has. An orange rupee! Just one of these is worth 100 rupees! Your face is beaming! Yeah. And yes, that's quite cool. <laughs> I also love that face expression, like... Hmm... 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to crouch in there, like this. Yes! Yes! Awesomeness. <laughs> this looks retarded. Well, at least he doesn't have his stuff yet. Yeah. 
So, next time, we will go inside Grandma's house and actually talk to her and see what she wants. See you guys then.